Clyde Property in Perth, award winning letting and estate agents, proud sponsors of Sense TV. Ross, what is your role at the club and what does that entail? Um, my role at the club is marketing and communications officer, but that extends uh, to also promoting the club as well, the PR side of things at the club. Um, but mainly focused on Facebook, Twitter, the, the club website and, and YouTube, but um, more widely is about promoting the club in the community. How long have you been at the club in your role? Uh, in the role presently, I've been here since September, so uh, the majority of the season just now, but before that I'd been at the club <coughs> in a part-time capacity for kind of two seasons previous to that doing, doing the club uh, YouTube channel. You covered the Scottish Cup on May 17th, that eventful day in the club's history. Uh, what are your memories of that, of that day, working with him, you know, you know, doing all the film and stuff and, and that kind of idea? Um, well, building up to the Scottish Cup final, all I remember is the, the excitement in the town and uh, doing the club YouTube channel. Um, it was uh, it was great to, to go out into the, the city centre and see almost every shop uh, walking down the high street, uh, blue bunting and St Johnston shirts, posters, scarves and, and the window displays and things. It was... Uh, it was just great to, to, to be part of that, the excitement towards it. Um, and then obviously when the, the day came, uh, felt being, it, was, it was a privilege to, to, to film that, that day happening. Uh, you guys getting off the bus, kind of seeing the pitch beforehand, seeing all the fans arriving, uh, to, to kind of feel your part of history. You couldn't kind of get ahead of yourself at that point thinking of what if St Johnson actually won it. It was just a great thing to be at the final, but it was, uh, it was a fantastic day. And... I think the the best part of, of the day, um, it couldn't have been kind of more perfect, was the fact that obviously St John's were winning 1-0 and for Stephen McLean to score that second goal five minutes from the end to, to seal the win um, in front of the St Johnston fans. So the 15,000 St Johnston fans that were there that day got to celebrate that moment um, at, at the end where St Johnston scored. So um, just an incredible, incredible day. One of the best, best days of my life, I, I would say. Prior to the beginning of a new season, what was your detail uh, for your work for the coming year off the back of winning the Scottish Cup? Um, yeah, part of my role was to, to make sure the Scottish Cup was getting out and about in the community and I think that the, the chairman um, and everybody else at the club are really passionate about getting the cup out. I mean, it's uh, St Johnston won the Scottish Cup but St Johnston represents Perth and Perth and Kinross and the kind of wider area so it was so important to, to celebrate that win with the community and that that will help um, promote the club as well. I think if you're involved with the club, um, as a staff, a staff member, a player, um, as a supporter, you I constantly hear people refer to the club as, as a family club um, and it's really nice and I really get that sense of it when you when you walk into the stadium on a match or even just during, through the week but you've got to try and make the kind of wider public know that as well so um, when we've got people like your players like yourself other players going into the community and um, to speak to kids uh, telling them that you know we are we are a family club we, we, we look we've got a really strong relationship with with our fans uh, we support local charities things like that so um, that's all very important in the kind of the brand of the club if you like. One of your remits is to, to try and really get out there and get people through to us to promote the club. How do you think the Scottish Cup has helped to attract new fans to St Johnson? Yeah, well, um, the Scottish Cup has been um, had a big impact on, well, for, first of all, season ticket sales. 500 new season ticket holders came on board uh, this season on the back of the Scottish Cup win. So the first time in six years, the season tickets went up rather than on a, on a decline. So that was great for the club. Yeah, but the, the key to the key now is to hold on to those five hundred new season ticket holders that, that came on board on the back of the Scottish Cup win. So it's yet to be seen. Hopefully, we can hold on to those and, and attract a few more. But we've made big efforts this season to get, like I've said, um, out into the community a lot with the players. Not just the players, but the Scottish Cup's been out um, to so many different places. Not just primary schools, but high schools and um, community groups as well, trying to promote the club and. The big thing when you go into a school to try and encourage new supporters to, to come along and, and see a game um, is to, to show them, if not been before, that you know St Johnston is a successful club, it's a, it's a big team. And if you're going in with the Scottish Cup and I'm playing DVDs of the of the team scoring goals in the, in the Scottish Cup final in front of thousands of fans and lifting the trophy, that's a big thing. And, and the kids are like, wow, the, the St Johnston are a big team. And hopefully on the back of that, they'll, they'll come along to the games. And recently we went to a school um, just up the road and we handed out Leaflets, just leaflets saying that we've got the, the free, it's, it's free for kids to, to come along to the games. Um, on the back of that, um, over one in five kids on the back of that visit came along to, to the next home game. So it is working and hopefully that will spread to other, other schools um, in the city and across Perthshire. Part of your job in, when the Scottish Cup went the club went to Europe, how did you find covering, uh, covering the team uh, in Europe? Yeah, but qualifying for Europe, another great thing for the club because um, it was a third season to 
the, the team had qualified for, for the Europa League big thing um, it's really important for the club to especially in the home games to, to try and get as many fans as we can and it's been incredible the time I've been at the club to see the huge crowds that come to McDermott Park uh, for the European nights eight over 9,000 fans come um, a lot most of the away fans um, probably won't make that journey across to Scotland so you're talking about kind of eight and a half thousand St Johnston fans in the stadium for the European game so that's a huge thing not just financially but great to just get that many St Johnston supporters along for a home game that you wouldn't normally get for a league game following the team in Europe yeah amazing um, not just for myself but the players are, are going to a country they've never been before things like Switzerland and Slovakia so it's great to, to have that experience to go to a new place um, with the football club and, and make connections and you can look at the, the team that St Johnston played a couple of years ago the Turkish team is and there's been a kind of bond between the club since then between the supporters and the club so you're making these kind of connections. You never know where those kind of things will, will lead in future. But just to qualify for Europe, great for the club just in terms of its stature and its promotion. Ross, do you feel the club has capitalised on the exposure when the Scottish Cup is brilliant, the, kind of the season's success on the park? Do you feel the club has, have capitalised that as much as they can? Yeah, this season, I think, um, on on the back of the Scottish Cup win, I mean, there isn't a huge amount more the club could have done in terms of uh, the promotion um, of, of the club itself uh, over the summer and this season. I mean, you can only look at that Sunday after the Scottish Cup final, the the bus parade through the through the city centre, um, outside Perth Concert Hall. Twenty five thousand fans were there. I mean, you can't buy that kind of PR, and um, that was just great to promote the club in that way. And on the back of that, the, like I said, the, like I said, the the chairman and the rest of the club were just, were just so passionate about making sure that the the, the city and uh, the region could celebrate the Scottish Cup success by having the Scottish Cup visit every school. And it meant so much to all these schools having the Scottish Cup and players. Um, in their schools, I remember there was a, a school just up the road where um, I'd taken the Scottish Cup and there was kids, I could kind of overhear them talking in the reception area talking about how excited they were about the Scottish Cup coming and um, one of the kids was saying that she barely could, could sleep the night before because she was so excited the Scottish Cup was going to be in her school and these kids are taking pictures of themselves with the Cup and then they're going home and their parents are seeing it and then their parents are maybe thinking, oh, I might take them along to a St Johnston game and the club couldn't really do any more in terms of its pricing structure to try and get kids along because you, you can look at it and think all the different age groups that you can maybe try and encourage along to a St Johnston game but kids is the really important one because if you don't get them along when they're young they're probably not going to come later on in their life so we make it really easy for, for kids and families to come along you've got kids that can come along um, for free to all to all home uh, league matches and if you go to Ormond stand that the adult that comes with them goes in for £15. There's not anywhere else in the Scottish Premiership, probably in other parts of Scotland, that can offer that kind of deal for supporters to come along. So the, the club does everything it can to encourage supporters in. You've been out a lot in the community promoting the club as part of your job. What, how, what, what's the general response to the club within, within, within Tertia and within, within the, the other kind of local extremities? Incredible. There's just, the kids are just so excited that to, for the, the Scottish Cup or the players to, to come to their school the fact the teachers love the fact that the, the club are actually making an effort and they're getting a lot of it as well because the players are going in and if it's not the players I've got a DVD with the players talking about um, healthy lifestyle and exercising things like that because the, the kids will look at these players as, as role models and the, the, so the schools love to get that back from it but also from our, our side of it as well we're just kind of openly promoting the club, handing out leaflets, showing DVDs of, of the, the team playing in, in the Scottish Cup final or goals from this season. Um, and you a lot of the time get the kids cheering when, when the St Johnson score the goals in the video. So it's, it's really encouraging to, to see that. Um, and I think the response has been, has been really good.